at the Allen Institute 2024 was a very exciting year. Lots of scientific discoveries, new and exciting partnerships, and also investment in novel technologies that will allow us new discoveries, like for example proteomics or AI. At the Allen Institute for Immunology, we characterized with unprecedented resolution the immune cell types that circulate in our blood. And we released the largest collection of immune cells in the blood of healthy individuals in our Human Immune Health Atlas. This is a very exciting release because it will allow scientists to investigate their immune system and to know what's normal. Another exciting development of 2024 happened in our Cell Science Institute. We released, for the first time, cell lines that carried mutations observed in disease, namely mutations observed in cardiomyopathies, in diseases of the heart. And we think these cell lines will help the community do discovery into the nature of heart disease and eventually improve and advance health in that area. If you remember from last year, we had completed a complete cell type atlas of the mouse brain and the first atlas of the human brain. So what did we do with this information? We went on to characterize what happened at different stages of Alzheimer's disease. And Alzheimer's disease is the most common dementia worldwide, and we're all preoccupied with it. So what our team found was that from very early on, even before any pathology is noticeable, there are specific cells in particular places in the brain that die very early. And then as diseases progress, other cells die. And some are very resilient to the end. So we have, I would say for the first time, a map of vulnerability and resilience with cell type resolution in Alzheimer's disease. And this is very hopeful for understanding the disease, for diagnostics, and hopefully in the future to prevent the disease. And we're very excited about the next year. In 2025, we're excited to launch new moonshot projects in life sciences. In addition, we want to start an annual convening around the future of life sciences, where we come together with other like-minded institutions and scientists to discuss what moonshots we should all go for in the future and we'll continue our effort in the democratization of science and the democratization of knowledge by opening here inside our institute an education lab that can be used by the next generation of scientists. And our hope is really to change the landscape of STEM in the next generation. All these future projects, all these endeavors, are really too big to do alone. So what we want is to invite all of you in the scientific community, in the global community, to join us in these quests, join us in our expeditions to understand life and advance health.